there was a story about McQueen calling up after staying in this room to say that he'd stolen it, stolen the tapestry, and everyone freaked out. It was a small prank, huh? Hello, I'm Detmar Blue. And I'm Harriet Burney. Welcome to Hills, the home of my family and of my late wife, Isabella Blue. And we're going to show you some things that we love. I met Isabella at a wedding at Salisbury Cathedral on the 24th of September 1988. She liked my coat and I liked her hat. My relationship with Isabella, she was my aunt. So we grew up in and around the house. The house hasn't changed, but Izzy filled it with happiness and people. And plug sockets. Izzy discovered McQueen. She had this uncanny ability to discover talent. She'd been trained by Anna Winter, so, you know. Yeah. There was nothing, nothing stopped her. Nothing stopped her. And, you know, Hills is a perfect theatrical backdrop for her. This sort of beautiful arts and crafts house. And also, Izzy was described herself hunting for truffles, so she was <laughs> a, find, a finder of talent. So we had these extraordinary creative people coming, like Philip Tracy and Alexander McQueen, and then more established people like Tim Burton and Brian Perry, who was a very great inspiration to Izzy. It just feels like a home to me. I think some of my favourite memories are all the sisters in the kitchen shrieking with laughter and embarrassing you. <laughs> this is the Primavera bedroom where my grandparents, this is their bedroom and Alexander McQueen used to like to stay in them. And it's called the Primavera bedroom because it has this tapestry made by Burne Jones and William Morris, inspired by the painting by Botticelli. And it's got the three graces dancing. There was a story about McQueen calling up after staying in this room to say that he'd stolen it, stolen the tapestry, and everyone freaked out. And I can't believe it, the audacity. I can't believe he's rolled it up in a suitcase and stole it. And you guys must have come back from London, right, to come and check? I think Izzy, I think Izzy told me slightly, very worriedly. But actually, it was just a very small tapestry over there of their face. The scandal was that he'd taken this <laughs> valuable tapestry, but clearly you're not going to be able to roll this one you up. You never know. Well, it's a big, a big suitcase, but it wasn't. It was a small prank, huh? This is a portrait of Izzy wearing a beautiful Philip Tracy hat with a mask. It also shows Izzy as she liked to be very protected by the hat and by fashion. I went to Philip's graduation show uh, where Izzy was modelling with Lucy Ferry. And then Izzy got very excited about Philip and um, you know, wanted to know what his schedule was in the next six months. <laughs> and he said, I'm just a student. And then he came to live with us and off it went. Izzy said she first discovered the hat from her mother and she was trying one on as a child and never looked so happy. So, these are pictures from a spread in the face that Izzy styled and shot by Sean Ellis, who she worked with a lot. And what were they wearing costumes from? I think it's set Terry Gillan's film Excalibur. That was it. Izzy told me that it's McQueen killing his critics, who's in the battle <laughs> of fashion. She put everything into it. It, it. it was quite stressful. It wasn't just another job, it was like her life. But however difficult it was with Izzy, I always knew the nightmare of enduring a burst of creativity doing a fashion shoot and all the work she put into it. What came out of it was fantastic. So this up here, this is the dorm, the attic. This room has had quite a lot of iterations. It's the room that's changed the most and changes the most. And the object that we love, that I have a lot of memories of, and so does Detmar, is the rocking horse, which I've played on as a child. My daughter has, that my son has. Did you used to use it? Yeah, I, I remember playing, and it goes quite fast as well. You yeah. Get some, you get some speed <laughs> on it. It's got some oomph. Yeah. Should we go through that yeah, one? Let's, yeah, get, let's get through the small door, yeah. <laughs> Children, so be careful not to hit your head. Huh? God, it's shrunk, hasn't it? This is a long room where we spend many happy occasions. This room, apart from the kitchen, was probably the closest thing to like a family sitting room. And this is where you do drinks, you do games, parties. It's probably the second warmest room in the house. 
we're gonna look at the curiosity cabinet. People are drawn to it. They ask a million questions about what's in it. The first one, Izzy's MAC lipstick. And who did that picture? I can't read it now. Hilary Knight. Hilary Knight. Who, is, who was a illustrator for Vanity Fair. And it's of I'm, Izzy I'm very... in this MAC hat, which would be like a Philip Tracy feather hat, right? Absolutely. But the yeah. color is incredible. It's really pigmented. It's classic Izzy. So I remember that and I remember seeing pictures of the the opening night and she had a black bob. Black bob, yeah. With a MAC I hat. think she was really enjoying the moment. It was her moment and there's that yeah, picture of like a hundred lipsticks coming yeah. at her and she's posing them. So that one to me is really, really special. I remember this bag of Izzy's. We went out for dinner and Izzy had shoved a packet of B&H gold, that's what she smoked, but folded them up, which you can't really do with cigarettes, and shoved them in there. And I remember just her pulling out these half-torn cigarettes and trying to smoke them. Izzy was a maximalist, not too casual. Izzy laid casual. She liked people to make an effort. What do you think she would be thinking or saying if she was sitting down on this now? She'd be very pleased, very proud, huh? and wishing us all the best, and telling us to have the best life we can. Huh? I think she'd be shouting at us. She would have said, Detmar, you stingy heating, bastard, yeah. put the heating back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the North Hall. Izzy first comes in here when she arrives back in 88. She puts a suitcase down, looks up, very excited to see this painting of Charles I, with whom she shares a birthday. And Charles I has merely been a hopeless king, but he was a great art collector and one of our greatest royal patrons, if not the greatest. Things ended badly for Charles I. Perhaps that was a premonition for Izzy about their love of beauty and creativity was a troubled one and it often came at paying a price. All I remember is the scary man in... Um... The model with the, with the, with the armour on. Yeah. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. My father used to wear it on occasion when he'd go riding. So when I met Izzy, people used to say to me, um, how do you cope with her clothes and dressing? And I'm like, I'm totally used to it actually. <laughs> yeah, because we had, we had things like this armour to dress up in. This is my mother's room, done up in the 80s. And this is my uh, dinner suit, which Alexander made for me in the early 90s. In those days, he was signing on, on the dole as Lee McQueen, which is his real name, his first name. But the point about the story is, before he had a trademark or company, he used to leave hair, That's his, that was his mark. So this is, a, this is an outfit Alexander made me for a photo shoot we did in November 1992 for British Vogue. It was a feature on Life at Hills and Alexander did all the clothes for Izzy and me. This is just after he graduated. So this one, it's kind of Regency look. And I was a barrister, so I've got one of my old barrister shirts. And then Alexander transformed it, added this sort of flounces with flowers. And I remember him telling me, he said, I've done all this by hand. And then we did this waistcoat, it's beautiful. And that also is over 30 years old. So this is probably one of my most treasured and favorite parts of the house. It's the yew hedges behind me. Come and have a look. We are inside the yew hedge. I used to play in here a lot as a child. It's quite magical in here. There's a famous picture of Izzy by Jürgen with her antlers on. She's wearing a McQueen brown, and brown or black yeah. leather yeah. number. And it's just a really beautiful shot. It's quite a, quite a gothic place yeah. to hide in. You know? I think it's quite a good meditation place, a place to think and dream and escape from people. From the inside of this wonderful yew hedge, um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing our objects of affection. Thanks so much for having us, Vogue. I think we need to go and warm up now. Bye. Thank you, Vogue. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I got that wrong. Uh, sorry. <laughs>